Now it's time to get a first look and first drive of a brand new EV. Yes, it's the fifth gear recharged team test. Today, the team tested the Honda Civic E, H E V, E, 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 E. The Honda Civic, just another hatch, right? Well, no, the Civic is like Volkswagen's Golf, a motoring legend. The first generation came out in 72, and since then over 27 million have been sold. The 11th gen came out on its 50th birthday. We're interested in its new hybrid power. But should you be? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the brand new Civic Honda E-H-E-V. It is their hybrid car. Oh, what's the face? It's not a Civic to me. Because it hasn't got the flicks and yeah, the wings. Yeah, it's not aggressive. Mm. It's not sporty. It's not aggressive. It's More not racy More importantly, it doesn't look like a hatchback at all. What's that on the back there? This rear end. You know what the hot hyena look looks like? Ugly, horrible things. We've got a slopey bum. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you not see that? Yeah, like curved. What are you laughing at? Like curved. Oh, horrible, <laughs> horrible form of a hyena. Jason compared it to a hyena. Of course, he has many, many hyenas in his backyard, so he knows all about them. Yeah, Jason's got a fetish for hyenas. It kind of looks a bit like other cars on the road, whereas before there was no mistake in a Civic was a Civic. So, in case you missed it, looks have been written off as needing a bit more work. Never mind, because Hondas are known for engineering, and the Atkinson Cycle 2-litre with two lecky motors promises splendid refinement and economy. This is a two-litre hybrid. Two-litre hybrid. It's got 181 horsepower. Turbocharged? No. The four-cylinder? Yeah. But there's only two exhaust. It, yeah. it must be done for efficiency and space saving. I want to show you the other end, the hyena end, because there is something interesting in here. This ladies and gentlemen, is a sideways moving parcel shelf. Why is that new? I, I know. Why has no one else done that? I know. That? I really like that. How much weight could you actually get Oh, no, get nothing. On that? It's just... No, that's oh, no, just, it's just covering, fur cover. isn't it? I think it's a lovely idea. I'm with you. It's very clever. The cool parcel shelf cancels out the dull looks. Fantastic. So this is the advanced spec. Top yep, there are three yeah. trim levels, so we're in the top notch, which means oh, whoa, we whoa, get... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did What's you say that? we're in the top spec? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why have we got plastic seats? It's synthetic leather. No, it's plastic. There's no leather in it. <laughs> leather comes from an animal. Look, in this spec, we get an electrically adjustable heated front seat, heated steering wheel, which is all good for me, and panoramic sunroof, which is good for you in the back. It's a steering wheel in leather or plastic? It's the synthetic leather. Plastic. <laughs> well, I have plenty of room, though. Do you know, interior-wise, there's some really nice touches in there, but there's some awful things as well. So, the nice touches, I like the honeycomb on the dashboard. I don't like the seats. On a top-spec car, I want leather seats. I don't want something leather, i.e. fake leather, i.e. plastic. OK, plastic. Jason isn't happy, but he might like this car on the move. The Honda is clever. Basically, it's an EV, but the petrol motor powers the battery, which powers the two motors, which powers the car. The petrol engine can cut in and drive the wheels at a constant speed, but it's hard to tell when, or so Honda claims. Right, team. Yeah, here we are. We are going to play a little game, OK? In a very short while, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. What for? What for? Because I want you to use your senses, your other senses. I don't want you looking at the screen. I've seen I want you to now. tell me when you think it's in electric mode and when you think the engine is assisting. I love a car Ooh. game. So I asked the team to use all their senses, apart from their eyes, to work out when the car was in electric mode and when it was using the engine in hybrid mode. Because Honda thinks that this is a seamless change. So we all closed our eyes and played a game of whether we could tell what mode it was in and Vicky would drive the car in certain modes. Right, eyes are shut. Right, go on then. So what do you think we're in now? Well, you're coasting down a hill for starters. Curse yeah. you! Curse you and your extrasensory perception. I'm going to say hybrid. Right now? 
Yeah, well, well, I don't, well, it's a bit of everything, isn't it? Well, it's hard to tell. Ah, uh, you're on an EV. EV okay, for me. Hybrid. I'm going hybrid. Oh, yeah. What is it? Yeah. I'm on hybrid. Ooh. Hey. Oh, hang on a minute, Mr. Plato. Oh, this is an easy game. Well, I detected <laughs> we were going one down here. One to you, one to me. Who's the one who's just lost? Mary. Yeah. And there's more not as it seems trickery. The Honda Civic does not have a gearbox. There's a virtual box, the ICVT, which fakes gear changes using extra cabin sound and brake regen, which give it the feel of rising revs in sport mode, or wowzers. But does it actually work? Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Bit of air. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. That would work. Yeah. Yeah, you That's can hear sweet. that. Yeah. It sounds that quite pricey, doesn't it? It, it, feel, it sounds reasonably real, more real than many yeah, yeah, other definitely. cars. Yeah, sounds Honda-y. How does it feel behind the wheel, Vic? Yeah. It's all right? It actually does feel like I've got a Honda chassis underneath me. I always think that Hondas make decent handling cars. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, absolutely. So that is a, a tick. I mean, it hasn't got enough grunt. Obviously, only being two two-litre, normally aspirated, with a, with a tiny electric engine in there to back it up. I can't wait for the, 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 the Civic Type R, really can't. Look at how the Mars Pagallon is dropping rapidly. Seems like you've got a bit, a bit of understeer there, yeah, that's all right. We're not built for economy, are we? No. Hey. This non-plug-in hybrid can beat 50 MPG with gentle use. That's as good as a diesel. Do you know what? I don't think I like the idea of non-plug-in hybrids. Because why? Uh, because it just feels a bit pointless. Yeah. Well, I like the idea of a plug-in hybrid. And then you will get a clear, for example, 30 to 50 Absolutely. miles of electric range and you've got a special electric button. Of course, I understand all the benefits of it being a traditional hybrid. You don't have to plug it in anywhere. But I kind of miss the fact that it can run on, say, 30 miles of electric power all in one go. For me, this kind of hybrid car is a bit old fashioned. I suppose it works for city driving, but to get the maximum amount of efficiency, you're better off with a plug-in. This might be beneficial for people who don't have access to home charging or might find it hard to find a public charger. So there's that benefit that you haven't got to plug it in. So we've got good kit, a good chassis, good economy and smart tech. Can the Civic shrug off those hyena comments though and deliver a more friendly conclusion? I am enjoying myself. Seems it's like definitely, it. It's able and it's agile and, you know, it's quick enough. So, the Honda Civic, it looks very much different to all the other ones, but it still lives up to its Civic name. It's well built, it's decent to drive. I think it's an improvement from the last generation and I can't wait to have a go in the Type R. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven. I quite like the look of this car overall. It's got sleek, swoopy lines, but for me, I would have preferred it even more for it to look sportier and more aggressive. So I'm really intrigued to see what the Type R version would look like, but this one, I'm gonna give it a seven. I like it. I found it enjoyable for what it is. I am going to give it a score of 7.5. It simply can't be any more than a seven. But I reckon when the Type R comes along, that will probably look like a nine. Not too shabby, then. The Honda Civic is all right. It may be a slow burn design to tempt you in, but once it does, it's got the power to win you over. But we still can't wait for the Type R.